exercise one a researcher is doing a study to know whether there is a relationship between gender and type of movie preferred relationship problem gender and type of movie preferred so you can guess that gender has only two values male and female therefore gender variable is measured at nominal level type of movie preferred also you can see that this is also nominal level to confirm you can see the you can read further a random sample of 150 at all so sample size 150 number of cases number of observations number of subjects is 150 and frequently table now surely you measure at nominal level okay if you consider only nominal level you study frequency proportion percentages so male female two values of gender variable drama science fiction comedy only three types of movie preferred yeah, only three types you now it is sure that the problem is the relationship between two nominal variables so two nominal variables therefore chi square test of independence you choose and immediately you have to know how to write the null hypothesis alternate hypothesis yeah the two variables are independent or not dependent therefore if a is that the two variables yeah right variable names gender and type of movie preferred are not independent or you can write dependent okay. question number three what is the critical value the critical value depends upon alpha level of significance here second column and degrees of freedom degrees of freedom is here column variable gender gender has two values we write sum of c is two number of columns and here type of movie preferred variable this variable has three values three rows so sum of r is 3 we write so degrees of freedom is r minus 1 times c minus 1 r minus 1 is 2 c minus 1 is 1 so 2 row 2 you get 5.991 always positive this part is 5.991 on the right is the rejection region on the left is the non-rejection region on the right of 5.991 is the rejection region 5.991 and on the left of 5.991 is the non-rejection region so critical value is 5.991 always positive the rejection region is always on the right question number four compute the test statistic 
we always assumed in the beginning that the null hypothesis is true. If the null hypothesis is true, then this equation is true. The frequency will be row total times column total divided by n. Row 1 total R1 60. Row 2 total R2 40. Row 3 total R3 50. The sum of row totals is n. C1, C2, Cj, C1, column 1, total frequency 60, column 2, total frequency 90, column 1, total plus, column 2, total. This is 150. How come this formula? The idea is like this, the reasoning is like this, if HO is true, then a male or female, in either gender, the percentage of people who prefer drama will be the same. Science fiction will be the same, comedy will be the same, like this. Therefore, the frequency, yeah, the frequency of male who prefer drama, yeah, this is row 1, column 1, frequency yeah, should be, should follow this <coughs> equation, yeah. row 1, column 2, in female group, C2, right? Frequency a male, male is C1, yeah? 60 male. In 60 male, uh, how many should like drama? In female group, how many should like drama? These two must be the same. Mathematically, if these two are the same, they both are equal to uh, uh, over among total number of people. Uh, the percentage of people who prefer drama R1 by N this way therefore if you use the equation between these two you get E11 is R1 C1 over N if you use the second and uh, the next two equation you will get E12 is equal to R1 C2 over N like this Similarly, for every box, you can see that if HO is true, yeah, this equation will be true. EIJ will be RICJ divided by N. Yeah. So, therefore, uh, for drum in this box, uh, what frequency should be male and drama? Uh, if you want to know, you multiply 60 row total and 60 column total and divide it by 150. Yeah? 60 times 60 over 150, this is 24 here. Similarly, in female group, drama people should be row total 60 times column total 90 divided by 150, 36. In science fiction people, male people, male should be 40 times 60 over 150, this is 16. In female group, science fiction uh, frequency should be 40 times 90 over 150, this is 24, so on. You know? For comedy, 50 times 60 over 150 is 20 here. Yeah. The frequency should be 20. And the last one, in female group, the 
pas the peep then frequently who prefer comedy should be 50 times 90 over 150 this is 30 so you can now expect the frequencies yeah then you use the same formula the formula on the left or right the same sigma sigma means yeah uh, you added each row first to the first sigma after that at them at the results row results is a second sigma so uh, so never mind yeah for each box o square by e plus 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 o square by e divide and minus 150 yeah you compute this way in the calculator also just enter yeah you don't need this step actually you can compute you can enter 15 square over 24 plus 45 square over 36 plus just go left to right up down finally minus 150 equal to then if you press equal to you will get this immediately yeah if you take two three decimals that's all right now the last question question number five state the decision and conclusion as the rejection region is on the right of 5.991 and as the test statistic is 14.06 on the right of the critical value reject ho the null right formally the null hypothesis is rejected and after the conclusion write the conclusion about HA whether HA is true or not yeah HA is gender and type of movie preferred are dependent or related like this